Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge, and today I'm gonna to show you a knot that we use all the time to connect braid to your leader, whether that's gonna be mono, it could even be another piece of braid if your braid got broken off. This is gonna use the uni knot. The easiest way to connect braid to leader, in my opinion, is a uni to uni connection. This knot is very strong, and it is very easy to tie. That's what I like about it. You could use an FG, you could use an RP, there's all these other knots, but none of them are as fast. And honestly, this is all the strength you're gonna need and more. When people talk about strength in the unit and uni, it's like a 70 something percent knot. What that means is it'll break at about 70% of your line test. So it's more than adequate. You're giving up a little bit of strength for ease. And one thing you'll always hear me say when we talk about knots is tie the knot you can tie the best. A good tied knot is way better than some fancy knot that you're just learning or you're not as confident with or is hard to tie in the dark. So all that out of the way, let me show you what we do. This right here, the white twine is gonna represent my braid, white braid. This other brown twine is gonna represent my leader. Okay, it doesn't matter where you start, but you're gonna basically line them up like this in your hands. So you've got the two of them together. I'm gonna take my leader side, I'm gonna make a loop backwards, and then I'm gonna make seven turns. Again, same thing with the, just tying a uni knot, you match the number of turns to the line weight. So for anything under about 50 pounds, I'm gonna make about seven turns. Sometimes it's six, sometimes it's eight, but just kinda gotta be in that range. Then once you have that tied, you're gonna pull the tag end and you can watch that knot just cinch down so beautifully. Almost makes like a little hangman's noose. Don't pull that too tight at this point. There's your one uni. And surprisingly enough, we're gonna do the exact same thing over on this side. So I'm gonna go make a loop back. I've got my loop. I've got my braid in my fingers. I'm gonna do about seven turns Okay, got them there, same program here. I'm gonna pull from my main line on this side and my tag line on this side, and you can see that knot just start to lay down really, really nice, right? Now I've got two little knots that look like hangman's nooses. I'm gonna pull the main lines apart and watch them come together, a little twist in there, don't worry, it'll work itself out. Now I'm gonna grab both leads and I'm gonna give it a good pull. You can hear that thing cinching down. That is it. It's really so simple. It works so well. If you want to experiment with some of those other connections we talked about, go for it. But I wouldn't even think of trying to tie another leader to braid connection until you've got this one mastered. And what is so nice about the uni knot is it's one of the few knots that really bites in braid. A lot of knots don't work well in braid because braid is so slick and slippery. So let's say you've got half a spool of braid out and you get sawed off by another fisherman or whatever happens. Now you can just do this uni to uni, braid to braid, and you can add line back onto your reel. It is crazy strong. In braid to braid connection, you're pushing somewhere near 100% connection because it sits down and it seats so well on itself without burning. That's it, no need to make it more difficult. The uni to uni knot is really the simplest way to connect your braid to your leader or even two braided lines. If you enjoy this video and you wanna see others like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can give us a like down below and leave a comment. Your comments tell us what you wanna see and really shape the future of these videos. Let us know what you wanna see and we'll do our best to accommodate it. Thanks so much for watching.